Hey basketball coaches and players, today I'm going to talk to you about Tyler Hero's shooting form. This is absolutely amazing, especially if you're looking to improve on your shot. Let's get down and let's check out Tyler Hero. Okay, so in this first clip, he is dribbling up. This is a dribble up shot, what we have right here. And what we're going to see is, let's check out the feet first. He goes heel to toe on his foot that he plants down first which is something that a lot of players do. You can do that or you can start by being on your toe, but sometimes you can have the stopping of the momentum more on your heel and transfer it into your toe, up to your calves and into your knees, hips, and then into your shot. You want a transfer of energy through your body. That's going to give you a lot more power on your shot. From there, he sticks that toe down. And now, what have we have here? His legs and feet are not underneath of his body. This is what's actually allowing him to stop to go straight up into the air. And what we are going to see next is his ability to now stop. He is on his toes as we see. That's going to be a great transfer of momentum from this direction into his upward shooting motion. Now from here what we have is now the transfer of energy into his knees, into his hips. You want to be basically unfolding your body at the same exact time as when you are shooting. So you want to have your knees straightening out, your hips straightening out at the exact same time when you're going up for your shot. Now, when, you're, when Tyler Hero goes up for his shot, as we can see, his body has now drifted over so that his feet are underneath of his body. He has now stopped his sideways momentum and turned it into upwards momentum. You really want to have your shot, or at least your body, go straight up and straight down. You don't really want to drift forwards, sideways, or backwards on your shot because that's going to change where your shot is actually going to go and you need to then adjust usually your upper body when you're in your sh shooting form when you're drifting one way or the other. Now what we see here is basically his shooting form. We have his shoulders pretty well square towards the basket. There is not much of a difference from his left to right shoulder to the distance to the basket. Next we see his shoulder in line with his elbow pointing this part of his arm, his upper arm, is pointing straight towards that basket. That is another major point when it comes to shooting the ball straight. If your elbow is too far out right, if you're a right-handed player, the ball is going to go left. And if your elbow is too far left underneath that ball, then that ball is going to usually go out towards the right side. From there, what we have is the hand comes up from the side, but then goes underneath the ball when he is shooting the ball. He doesn't have a thumb flick. A lot of players do. Steph Curry is one of them. However, usually with a thumb flick, that's going to limit your rotation on the ball, and you don't really want to have that happen. Now from here, it definitely looks like it goes off his middle finger last, and that's what you want to have. If it goes off your ring finger, if you're right-handed, usually that ball is going to drift towards the right side, and if it goes off your pointer finger, if it's your right hand, then it's usually going to drift off towards the left side. The reason why this happens is because your middle finger is the longest, so if it goes off this side, it's going to roll off towards the left. If it goes off the ring finger, it's going to roll off towards the right. Now we see his follow through. His arm is at roughly a 45 degree angle off from straight up, which is what you want to see. Your arm is generally above 45. The reason for that is because now you're going to be having higher arc on your shot, and by having higher arc on that shot, that rim looks a lot bigger to the ball. Think about it this way. If the ball is going straight towards the rim, that rim is going to look very small, but by having a higher arc on that shot, you're allowing that rim to look at the full size to the basketball. Now from there he keeps his shooting form or at least his follow through up 
but he does drop it early. Some players like to keep it up longer than others, but he is not one of those players. Now that defender does go flying past him, but he's able to make that shot still. Perfect swish because he is a fantastic shooter. So now looking from the side, what we see is he can pull up, especially against taller defenders, he can pull up by taking one dribble towards the right, or sorry, the left side, he plants his right foot when he picks up that ball. That allows him to now come into a jump stop, that would be his zero step, which would now be, this would be technically his first step, he could take one more step after that, but what we see here. This is a perfect setup for his shot. His toes, knees, and shoulders are pretty well in line. And from there, he goes up and check this out. This is why he has a fast release, or at least what a lot of coaches and players and teams say he has a fast release. Check out that arm. It's 90 degrees, like mine usually is. Now, I have come to the conclusion myself that Having a 90 degree angle on your elbow is going to allow you to have a faster release instead of having to bend your arm way, way back. Now, some players do, and Tyler Hero does that as well at times, but if he needs to have a quick release, he just goes straight up 90 degrees so that he can just flick the ball again off his middle finger. Fantastic. And then he is able to flick forward again. Check that release out. Roughly. 45 degrees that's going to give him a fantastic angle for his shot and that ball of course goes swish right in now this is just a warm-up shot now in this video he is bringing the ball up from his left side and he has that elbow out now sometimes players do shoot with the elbow out but you don't really want to the way that you can really stop yourself from having your elbow out is of course, videotaping yourself and shooting. Now, Tyler Hero, he doesn't shoot with his elbow out. He catches that ball on that left side, and instead of bringing the ball right over to go up, he just brings the ball up, but his elbow stays underneath that ball when he goes to shoot. Now, from this angle, it doesn't necessarily look at it, but we have to remember that the net is way over there. Well, what I am focusing on right now is the space between his palm and the ball. You want to have a space between your palm and the ball. The reason why you want to have the ball off your palm is because now with your fingertips, that's going to give you more control of the ball. If it's on your palm, there's not much control. Anybody can hit your elbow and that ball is going anywhere. Now this is one more clip of Tyler Hero that I am going to be breaking down. Now something that I tell a lot of players is to try to have your shoulders the same equal distance away from the rim that's called squaring up towards the basket the same goes for the hips you want to have those hips straight lined up with the basket by having that lined up by having this shoulder in line with the elbow pointing towards the rim you are going to have a fantastically straight shot especially when you have that ball go off your middle finger as long as you have those four things in line, hips, shoulders, shoulder and elbow, and off the middle finger, you're going to have a really straight shot. Of course, feet and knees come into aspect as well. So what we see here is that his knees are slightly towards the left. Sometimes some players will be more in line upper body wise if their legs are slightly left or if they're left handed their knees are sometimes slightly right. That's just something that happens and that allows your upper body to be in line. If that's the case you're all set but if your knees are misaligning your upper body you need to fix that as well. You need to take a, a bottom to top approach when taking into account your shooting form. I hope that this video helps you become a better shooter. Tyler Hero is a very good player and is going to be a hero, no pun intended, to many basketball fans, especially if you're a Miami fan. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.